Hi everyone! Welcome to Thomas Top 5, where we ask kids to pick their top 5 Thomas moments, and we share them with you! Today, we're looking at everyone's favorite little engines, starting with... Number 5! At number 5, we have Philip, the small diesel engine. Philip has a big personality, a cheery attitude, and loves to race. Number four. Little engine number four is Rex, the green miniature engine. Even though he teases Mike from time to time, Rex is a hard worker with a fun personality. Oh, hello, Rex. Hello, Thomas. Number three. Number three is Bert, the blue miniature engine. Bert is a bit quiet, but he's not afraid to remind bigger engines that little engines can be useful too. Number two. For number two, we have Luke, the little quarry engine. Luke is a very energetic engine that's always ready to offer a helping hand. Luke, so good to see you. How are things? Number one. And the number one little engine is Percy. Percy is best friends with Thomas and loves to deliver the mail. Sometimes Percy scares easily, but he's always ready to face his fears, learn from his mistakes, and do his best. <laughs> Which little engine was your favorite? Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hi everyone, welcome to Thomas Top 5, where we ask kids to pick their top five Thomas moments, and we share them with you. Today we're looking at some of Thomas's best friends from around the world, starting with... Number five. At number five, we have Hong Mei from China. Hong Mei loves to race, and is the number one blue engine of the Chinese railway, just like Thomas. Thanks, Hong Mei. No problem, number one. <laughs> number four. Number four is Shane from Australia. Shane is a big and strong engine who loves telling jokes while giving tours of the Australian outback. It's an emu. I wondered why it looked so amusing. <laughs> At number three, we have Gustavo from Brazil. Gustavo is a big engine with a kind personality. He likes pulling the express on the Brazilian railway. Oh, Thomas, you make me laugh. Number two. Number two is Ashima from India. Ashima is a fun and friendly engine with a beautifully painted coat. But Thomas, Cows are very special to many people in India. And if a cow wants to sleep, well, we let it sleep. Number one. And the number one pick is Lorenzo and Beppe from Italy. Lorenzo and Beppe are a fun but often dramatic duo that loves singing opera. <laughs> Why, thank you! No, really, thank you! Which friend was your favorite? Thanks for watching! See you next time! Hi, everyone! Welcome to Thomas Top 5, where we ask kids to pick their Top 5 Thomas moments, and we share them with you! Today, we're looking at the greatest and most creative inventions. Starting with... Number five. At number five, we have Kenji, the high-speed electric engine. He's big. He's strong. And he's the fastest engine in the world. Let's, Let's hear it for Kenji! Kenji is a kind engine who's always excited to try new things. Number four. Number four is the walking bridge. Uh-oh, no bridge? 
No problem. <laughs> Toby, you may now roll forward off the bridge. Oh, it's wonderful. Welcome home. Number three. At number three, we have Hugo, the rail zeppelin. Great Scott. Hello there. Hugo is an engine with a large propeller that helps him go really fast. Oh, <laughs> what was that? Number two. Invention number two is Cleo, the road engine. Hello, Thomas. I'm Cleo. Wow. Cleo is made of both engine and car parts. She's the best of both worlds. Number one. And the number one greatest invention is the robot. Wow. Wow, he sure can dance. <laughs> Which invention was your favorite? Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hi everyone, welcome to Thomas Top 5, where we ask kids to pick their top five Thomas moments, and we share them with you. Today we're looking at Thomas and Friends' most terrific teamwork moments, starting with... Number five. At number five, we have Emily and Dowager Hat. Sir Topham Hat wasn't feeling well, so his mother ran the railway for him. Things were confusing at first, but with Emily's help, the two of them were able to get the railway running smoothly again. Oh. Topham, what are you doing out of bed? I'm feeling a lot better, Mother. <laughs> hmm. Everything seems to be running smoothly. Of course it is, dear. But I can't take all the credit. Emily here helps me. Number four. Number four is the cranes, Cranky and Carly. When Cranky and Carly got their hooks tied together, they kept pulling, but couldn't get free. Only by working together could they get unstuck and back to being useful. We shouldn't be pulling in opposite directions, Cranky. You're right. Now what if I just... That, that, that's it, Cranky. Oh, up a bit. Left a bit. Almost there. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> there you go, shipmates. Communication. Oh, it's a wonderful thing. Number three. At number three, we have the steam team to the rescue. The steam team had finished a long day of hard work and were ready to rest for the night. But after an accident at the docks, Thomas convinced the team to work together one more time to save the day. Steam team to the rescue! When the steam team works together, we're always pulling strong. Don't stop, let's work together, cause our steam's hot, we'll go on forever. There's nothing standing in our way. Pick number two is Rocky's Rescue. After Rocky had fallen off the rails, the search and rescue team members each tried to save him on their own. None of them could lift Rocky until they decided to work together as a team. Oh! Up a bit, Harold. We did it! Wow. Wonderful! Hooray. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together! Number one! <laughs> and the number one most terrific teamwork moment is... The last train for Christmas. Connor had one last train of passengers to bring home for Christmas, but there was too much snow blocking the line. So all of the engines worked together to clear the tracks. And now the line was clear for Connor's last train. Thank you! It 
it is thanks to all of you that the last passengers got back to Sodor in time for Christmas. Merry Christmas, engines. Which moment was your favorite? Thanks for watching and see you next time. Hi everyone, welcome to Thomas Top 5, where we ask kids to pick their top five Thomas moments, and we share them with you. Today, we're looking at everyone's favorite big engines, starting with... Number five. At number five, we have Kwaku. Kwaku is good friends with Nia. He's really friendly, but can't get carried away when saying hello. Excuse me, uh, how are your wheels? How is your boiler? How are your pistons? Have the tracks been taking you where you want to go? And are your fellow engines treating you well? <laughs> yes, they are. Thank you. Number four. <laughs> Number four is Gordon. Gordon likes pulling the express and believes he's a very respectable engine. Sometimes Gordon is a bit too proud, but he has a good heart and always does his best to be useful. Number three. At number three, we have the Flying Scotsman. The Flying Scotsman is Gordon's big brother and likes to remind him whenever they meet. Good luck, little brother. He's really fast and is known for breaking records along with his two signature tenders. Big engine number two is Gustavo. Hello, Gustavo. Gustavo is a large electric engine. He's very caring and loves pulling express coaches on the Brazilian railway. Number one. And the number one big engine is Yang Bao of China. Yang Bao has a tiger emblem and was painted bright red for saving another engine. Young Bao is kind, fun-loving, and very brave. Number one it is. Oh, now if you'll excuse me, I have some passenger coaches to collect. Go get them, Tiger! <laughs> Which big engine was your favorite? Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hi everyone, welcome to Thomas Top 5, where we ask kids to pick their top five Thomas moments, and we share them with you. Today, we're looking at some of Thomas and Friends' wildest watering moments, starting with... Number five. At number five, we have Skiff and Sir Topham Hat. Skiff was really excited when he thought he saw a mermaid, but when he went to investigate, he also brought along a nervous Sir Topham Hat. Oh, I'm not sure where it went. Number four. Number four is Stefano's big entrance. When Thomas first saw Stefano, he thought a ship was about to crash into the beach. But it turns out Stefano could sail on the water and drive on land. My legendary beach landing gets them every time. Need a moment to take it in? Wow. Number three. At number three, we have the lost treasure. Sailor John had taken the treasure all for himself and was trying to escape. But the treasure was too heavy for Skiff to stay afloat, so Skiff threw the treasure overboard. Next morning, Sailor John was picked up by the police. Hello, hello, hello. What have we got here then? But I'm innocent, I tell you. Uh, tell that to the judge. Number two. <laughs> Number two is the broken bridge. While Thomas and Nia were delivering cargo on a stormy day, the bridge behind them started to sink. Luckily, Thomas and Nia were able to pull all of the trucks back to safety. Back there? Yes, thanks. Number one. 
And the number one wildest watery moment is the rescue team's 1,000th rescue. After a big storm, the search and rescue team helped to make sure everything was made safe again. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Thomas Top 5, where we ask kids to pick their top five Thomas moments, and we share them with you. Today, we're looking at Sir Topham Hat's silliest moments, starting with... Number five. At number five, we have Sir Topham Hat, Super Spy. Sir Topham Hatt was suspicious of Thomas's late deliveries and decided to investigate. <laughs> oh, my heart! Number four is Shipwrecked Sir Topham Hat. When Skiff thought he saw a mermaid, he was so excited that he took Sir Topham Hat out to sea. Oh, oh uh, no! There's no sign of it anywhere. Oh, I'm not sure where it went. Put a hat on, keep your head warm. <laughs> we can see your friends back in Sodor, won't we? When we get back there. When we get back, <laughs> oh, 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 here! Oh, we're here! Oh, my goodness, they found us, Skip! Yes. Over here! Number three! At number three, we have Sir Topham's new hat. Oh, all right, Mother. Sir Topham hat didn't like the new hat his mother got him, but no matter what he tried, he couldn't seem to keep it away. <laughs> Here, <laughs> you can have it. <laughs> That's the last I'll be seeing of that. Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh. Bother. Silliest moment number two is Sir Topham Hat and the slippery snow. When his car got stuck in a snowbank, Sir Topham Hat had to walk through the slippery snow, but snow wasn't the only thing he had to look out for. Oh. <gasps> number one! <laughs> and the number one silliest Sir Topham Hat moment is... The milkshake mistake! Sir Topham Hat didn't know how the new milkshake invention worked, so he made a big milkshake mess. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh dear. <laughs> I don't think that was the milkshake Sir Topham had in mind. Which Sir Topham hat moment was your favorite? Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Thomas Top 5, where we ask kids to pick their top five Thomas moments, and we share them with you. Today, we're looking at some of Thomas and Friends' greatest rescues. Starting with... Number five! At number five, we have Thomas's Icy Rescue. Terrence wasn't being careful, and the ice below him started to break. Good thing Thomas was there to pull Terrence back to safety. Are you 
okay? Yes. I should have listened to my own advice. You have to be sensible if, if you, you want, want to stay, stay safe. Number four. <laughs> Number four is Stephen and the Broken Bridge. When the big bridge started to collapse, Stephen raced across and blocked the tracks just in time to warn Gordon. Oh, Stephen, you... you saved me and my passengers. I... I... <laughs> I think he means thank you, Stephen. <laughs> number three! At number three, we have Emily Saves the Express. Gordon didn't notice that the bridge wasn't safe until it was too late. Luckily, Emily and Rocky got there just in time. Thank you. Well done, Emily. You prevented a big accident and saved the day. <laughs> it was nothing, sir. Number two. <laughs> Great rescue number two is Darcy's Tunnel Rescue. Monty was trapped at the bottom of a large hole with no way out. So Darcy used her drill and made a new way in. I'm and And the number one greatest rescue is... Thomas saves the animals. During a wildfire, Thomas raced through the outback, picking up all of the animals that were too slow to outrun the danger. There he is. Oh, I don't want to blow my whistle and scare him off. Oh, I know. Grab that branch. Come on, little banjo. This way. You can do it. Now let's get you to safety. <laughs> Thomas! Banjo! I'm so glad you're both okay. And good news, I've just heard that the firefighters have the bushfire under control. Well done, Thomas. Which rescue was your favorite? Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hi everyone, welcome to Thomas Top 5, where we ask kids to pick their top five Thomas moments, and we share them with you. Today, we're looking at Thomas and Friends' catchiest catchphrases, starting with... Number five. At number five, we have Gordon's signature. Oh, the indignity. Whenever Gordon is embarrassed or upset, he always lets out an... <laughs> Oh, the indignity. Number four. Number four is... Here's James. <laughs> James likes to be the center of attention. So whenever he arrives, he lets us know with a... Ta-da! Here's James. I'm ready for my coaches. Hello, James. Number three. At number three, we have... Cinders and ashes! Sometimes when Thomas is shocked or surprised, he lets out his signature... Cinders and ashes! Number two! Catchphrase number two is... Guess what's in my shovel? While she's working, Marianne has a little game guess she likes to play. Can you guess what it is? Guess what's in my shovel? Number one. And the number one catchphrase is... Yay, me! Rebecca always...
always makes the other engines feel good about themselves. And when she feels good about herself, she always says, Yay, me! Which catchphrase was your favorite? Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Thomas Top 5, where we ask kids to pick their top five Thomas moments, and we share them with you. Today, we're looking at some of Thomas and Friends' funniest and silliest faces. Starting with... Number five. At number five, we have Harvey and Daisy's Silly Showdown. Face number four is Henry. When Henry thought he saw a snow monster, he made some really silly faces. Henry thought his boiler would burst with fright. Number three. Number three is James's prideful pout. James is always showing off. He likes to be the center of attention. At number two, we have Percy practicing his funny faces. Percy? This face? Or this face? <laughs> <laughs> number one! And the number one silliest face is... Thomas's opera singing face. Which silly faces were your favorite? Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Thomas Top 5, where we ask kids to pick their top five Thomas moments, and we share them with you. Today, we're looking at the top five times girls save the day, starting with... At number five, we have Ruth's walking bridge. Toby was stranded on the other side of the canyon after the bridge collapsed. So Ruth invented a walking bridge to come to his rescue. Behold, the stupendous, spectacular walking bridge. You may now roll forward off the bridge. Oh! Number four! Number four is Emily the Hero. When Caitlin's brakes failed, she was in danger of being derailed off a cliff. But thanks to Emily, they were both able to stop safely. Oh, oh Emily, you're my hero. At number three, we have Rebecca and the Troublesome Trucks. Everyone was worried about Rebecca's delivery with the Troublesome Trucks because they caused a lot of crashes. <laughs> but no matter what the trucks tried, there was no stopping Rebecca. Go on, give me a <laughs> I don't believe it. She's joining in. <laughs> I love pulling trucks along. I love pulling trucks along. I love pulling trucks along. They're lots of fun. <laughs> what just happened? Number two. <laughs> Number two is the Soto Rangers to the rescue. When Emily was derailed, Nia set off to find her. But when she arrived, the Soto Rangers didn't seem to need much help at all and even helped get Emily back onto the tracks. But look, the girls have been practicing their ranger skills and have found clean water, kept themselves warm, and even made shelters. So the next morning, Nia and the Rangers worked together to pull Emily back onto the track. Beep, beep. Beep. 
And the number one best moment is... Nia's bright idea! A blizzard had knocked Harold off course, and he couldn't see where he was going. But Nia had the idea to use the big wheel as a lighthouse to help guide Harold back to the castle. Whoa! The big wheel! That must be Elfstead Castle! Whoever thought of lighting up the big wheel to guide me home is a hero. It was Nia. Glad I could be useful. Which moment was your favorite? Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Thomas Top 5, where we ask kids to pick their top five Thomas moments and we share them with you. Today, we're looking at some of the naughtiest and most troublesome moments across Sodor. Starting with... Number five. At number five, we have James blocking the bridge. After ignoring the warning flags at the bridge, James caused a big jam on the tracks and refused to admit he was wrong. Because James didn't move, the other engines did which caused plenty of confusion and delay. Oh, uh, okay. Hmm. This is ridiculous. Really, James? You should have moved. <laughs> number four. Naughtiest moment number four is Bulgy's big secret. Bulgy was jealous of the attention the steam engines were getting. So when Bulgy saw some soil get into their water supply, he acted quite naughty and didn't warn them. Hmm, this water seems a bit funny. <laughs> Maybe that will block their boilers. <laughs> because of his naughtiness, passengers needed to take the bus. But there were so many people, even Bulgy couldn't handle it. Ouch! Oh. <laughs> Why did I ever let that bag of soil contaminate the water tower? Bulgy? Oops. Number three! Number three is Diesel hides away. Diesel wanted the other engines to miss him, so he hid away, making his friends do all of his jobs. He even pulled a prank on them with glow-in-the-dark paint. It's me, Diesel. You must be missing me, Nia. Otherwise, why would you be having this dream? Dream? Yes, dream. <laughs> number two. For number two, we have Bert's big splash. Oh. While taking some pictures, some photographers accidentally splashed Bert with mud. Ow! <laughs> For. They splashed me. And they even took a picture. So when they became his passengers, Bert came up with a naughty idea to splash them back. <laughs> I'm soaked. I'm soaked, Bert. Bert. What are Number one. And the number one naughtiest moment is... Max and Monty's bridge shortcut. Max and Monty are always looking for shortcuts to be more useful. So instead of going to the dump, they decided to unload their hauls over a bridge. But on the other side of the wall, it wasn't a dumping place. It was a railway line. Hello, hello, hello. <gasps> Max and Monty, your tipping of debris has caused confusion and delay. Which moment did you think was naughtiest? Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hi, everyone. 
Welcome to Thomas Top 5, where we ask kids to pick their top five Thomas moments, and we share them with you. Today, we're looking at some of Thomas and Friends' warmest winter moments, starting with... Number five! <laughs> at number five, we have best friends Victor and Kevin. Kevin was playing outside and got trapped in a pile of snow. Even though Victor doesn't like snow, he went into the blizzard and wouldn't stop searching until he found his best friend. I have to find Kevin. Kevin's safe, Victor. He's back at the steamworks. What? You found Kevin? I can't believe you went out there in that horrible blizzard just for me, boss. That's what friends are for, Kevin. And you are my best friend. Number four. Number four is Donald and Douglas. Donald and Douglas were so distracted by their argument, they didn't notice Douglas's tender coupling had broken. Even though they were upset with each other, Donald was worried and came back to help his brother. We'll soon get you warmed up again, Dookie. Ah, just knowing my brother came back for me has already warmed me up. So Donald shunted Douglas to the steamworks to have his coupling repaired and his tender reattached. Number three! At number three, we have letters to Santa. Percy was delivering the children's letters to Santa, but the rails were blocked by a snowbank. Harold came to the rescue and delivered the letters for Percy, but then he ran out of fuel. Harold thought he would have to spend Christmas alone in the snow, but this time, Percy came to his rescue. And together, they had made sure that the children of Sodor got the gifts they had asked for on Christmas Day. <laughs> number two. Pick number two is the Diesel's decorations. The Diesel's were jealous of the steam engine's decorations. Diesel 10 even tried to steal them. Even though the Diesels had acted very rude, Percy still wanted to do something nice for Sydney and got him a new set of wheels for Christmas. And that's why the rest of the Diesels and I all agreed that you should have these! Oh. Wow! Yay! But what decorations will you have at the Diesel Works? Just me and my new wheels. <laughs> and these! <laughs> number one! And the number one warmest winter moment is... The Scrapyard Star! Percy didn't want Reg to feel alone while everyone else was together for the holidays, so he tried finding Reg a gift, but all Percy could find was Scrap! It turns out, Scrap is what Reg wanted all along. Oh, Reg, that is amazing. Thanks, Reg. Well, after seeing my Christmas decorations, I thought you might feel rather left out. Merry Christmas, Percy. Thanks, Reg. Which moment was your favorite? Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hi everyone, welcome to Thomas Top 5, where we ask kids to pick their top five Thomas moments, and we share them with you. Today, we're looking at some of Thomas and Friends' greatest discoveries. Starting with... Number five. At number five, we have the lost engine. During his trip to Italy, Thomas daydreamed about finding a great treasure. But when Thomas was accidentally switched to the wrong track, he made an even greater discovery. Who's down there? <gasps> You're not Max or Monty. You're <gasps> oh, the lost engine. Lost engine? What are you talking about? I'm Lorenzo. And I'm Beppe. Number four. 
great discovery number four is King Godred's Golden Crown. After a bumpy accident with some troublesome trucks, Stephen became trapped in an underground tunnel. After wandering the caves, Stephen stumbled upon an old chest. But what was inside? Oh, <gasps> wobbling wagons! Stephen is responsible for finding something I thought was lost forever. King Godred's Golden Crown! Number three! <laughs> Number three is the old pirate ship. Thomas was delivering cargo when the tracks below started to collapse. After falling into a cavern, he discovered an old pirate ship. Oh. <laughs> oh, well done, Rocky. Well done. Number two. At number two, we have the whale. Well, on delivery, Toad thought he spotted a whale on the beach. The whale didn't look well. But thanks to Toad's keen eye, they were able to make a rescue and take the whale to safety. Goodbye now. I, I hope you find your family. And the number one greatest discovery is the dinosaur. After finding some footprints, Percy was afraid there might be a terrible monster living in the canyon. But after facing his fears, he discovered it was a collection of dinosaur fossils. Luckily, nobody was hurt. That's not a monster. It's a rock. No, <laughs> it's... Which discovery was your favorite? Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Thomas Top 5, where we ask kids to pick their top five Thomas moments, and we share them with you. Today, we're looking at some of Sodor's strangest cargo, starting with... Number five! At number five, we have the world. Emily was asked to deliver a giant model of the world to the animal park, but things got a little out of hand. Oh, no! A cranky fished the giant globe out of the sea and put it back onto Emily's flatbed. Thanks, Cranky! Number four! Number four is the whale. When a whale was found on the beach, Thomas and his friends had to deliver it back to the sea. Everyone came to see the amazing sight of them carrying a whale. Goodbye now! Number three! At number three, we have the very important sheep. Thomas, Annie, and Clarabelle kept finding sheep on the tracks. They wanted to make sure the sheep were delivered safely, so Annie was filled up with sheep instead of passengers. Where are they all coming from? Goodness, oh my, my very important sheep. Oh, Thomas, thank you. Number two. Strange cargo number two is the animals. The boiler at the animal park had broken and the animals were very cold. To keep them warm, Thomas brought all of the animals to Tidmouth's shed. So I had to bring the animals back here. But some of us are not very happy about it, sir. Calm down, James. It's Christmas, remember? A season of goodwill to everyone. <gasps> Even ostriches! Oh, my hat! <laughs> <laughs> number one! And the number one strangest cargo is the dinosaurs. 
Marion was afraid that dinosaurs had come to Sodor, but they turned out to be dinosaur statues for Sir Robert's new dinosaur park. So people can come here and see what these magnificent creatures actually looked like. Which strange cargo was your favorite? Thanks for watching and see you next time.